if you have a Huawei smartphone without Google Play services then in this video, I'm going to take you through the steps to download and install most of mainstream Google apps. Today, we have a Huawei P40 5G smartphone which unfortunately is missing. Google Play services and currently running on Android 11 and MUI. In the first part, I will show you the apps which are working on this device. So let's move forward and start the video. Google Maps. This app requires Google Framework, but as you can see this is working fine. You can open Maps. Use point to point navigation, and it will take you through various routes available. I am now going to add postcode since I am in the United Kingdom, and I will wait for the maps to show me the results, and then we will be able to check if this works correctly. As you can see the Google Maps are showing accurate results, and I can no drive, and use it for my needs. The pinch zoom pan change route notification options are all available on screen. You can also sign in with your Google account to keep track of your travel history and favorite places. Now it's time for ways. Let's repeat the process and wait for the app to show us the integration services. Remember we have not installed any third-party Play Store alternatives such as Dual Space or Google Space. As you can see we now have fully optimized Waze app with our Huawei P45 G smartphone. This proves the app can work out having to install Google Play services at all, and you can use it as many times as you wish. Now if you are planning to switch your smartphone from Samsung to Huawei, you can use Smart Switch service on Huawei devices to migrate all your data. Other apps such as WhatsApp, Instagram, Netflix, Messenger, Skype, VLC, Disney. CapKit works absolutely fine without any issue as you can see on screen. You don't need permission to install them as installation process is very simple and relatively easy for everyone. Now let's talk about the app you need to get which will allow you to install all these Google Ads. First step is go to Aurora website as shown on screen. Download the latest app and go ahead and install it for the very first time. Once installed you can either sign in or use anonymous to start. Now you can swipe through various options and go through app sections where you will find almost anything you want and you can install them. This section is comprehensive and gives you detailed description of what you are about to see. Unfortunately YouTube app will not run after installing it will not open, which is kind of weird but hey. Don't worry we have a solution for this too. You can visit new pipe on your browser and download the latest YouTube app. Alternative which will not only allow you to watch YouTube video and listen music in the background and in separate windows, but you can also download any content. Other than social media apps, you can also download more apps such as banking apps, but I highly suggest you use web version of banking apps when doing your day-to-day -day banking to avoid any issues with apps when in use. You can scroll through apps and games and simply click to install them. In most cases apps and games will work without any problem, but in some instances where apps are integrated with Google they might not work but that account for not too many but few. Now my favorite part of the video. If you want to connect your smart watch for example Samsung Galaxy Watch, Active or any other watch you can simply go to Aurora store and download required apps which include Samsung wearable and relative plugins and watch accessory service. This will allow you to sync your Samsung smart watch and you will be able to use them without any issue by using all available functions. Remember there might be some issues with battery optimization as it's not on its native platform but there are always settings which you can use and extend battery. By installing Aurora Store you don't have to use the LZ Play, Google Fear, Tool Space or any other third-party app which is not trusted at all however with. Aurora Play Store, which is the official Play Store replacement can be explained in detail that XDA developers as users have left good feedback. If this video helps you or you are still watching it, hit subscribe and bell notification. See you soon with another video. Take care.